Here is Amanda, the lioness of the ring, Nunes. Amanda Nunes started her martial arts training at the age of 16. She's a BJJ and judo brown belt and NAGA Pan American and Brazilian national champion. She's trained in mixed martial arts for the past three years. Amanda Nunes, the lioness. I see because Amanda has a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and her hands are what's really scary. Nunez was raised in Brazil and trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Karate. Becoming a Pan American and Brazilian national champion by 18. Amanda is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and judo. Started karate at seven years old. Nunez a very quick starter. In her early fights, Amanda Nunez was a come forward, seek and destroy thumper. That's it. She's all matching up. Every strike that she throws is to kill. Like a raging bull, she only had one setting, attack. She stormed out of the gate, swinging for the fences. A striking wizard. Oh! Well, she's very strong, Mike. And you see that when she maintains that top position. Amanda blasts people. She yeah. puts them into another dimension. But that's the nickname, the lioness. and one half pounds. Here is Amanda, the lioness of the ring, Nunes. You think you're out of range, that's what's crazy about it. You think you're not going to get hit and somehow she reaches you at the end of the punches. She is deceptively long. <laughs> Bullets, explosions, and her punching things. She's a scary woman. Look at the build on Amanda. She's so wide and long. Sixth win via form of knockout, Amanda Nunes. British Columbia, Canada's powerhouse, Julia Budd, gets set to battle Brazilian KO queen Amanda Nunes in a women's 145-pound affair. Nunes was still an unknown on the American scene, heading into her fight against Julia Budd. All five victories coming by way of knockout. Please welcome to the cage, Amanda Nunes. She's landed some good leg kicks, particularly a nice inside low kick. There was talk that if Bud defeated Nunez soundly, she'd be in line for a title shot. She's definitely on everybody's radar now. At 14 seconds of round number one, due to strikes, she is the winner by TKO, Amanda Nunes. And now here is the Brazilian striker. Please welcome Amanda Nunes. MMA has seen many fighters who looked unbeatable on their feet fall victim to talented grapplers. This goes to the ground. So there could be big trouble there for Nunes. So. Wow. 
Why not? Beautiful throw. Nunes needs to get out of here. And turns her back and watch out now. Yep. Davis. He's got to jump up on her knees and escape there. I'm still in shock. I can't believe what I just saw. That was incredible. I mean, I knew she was capable of doing that, but I, I just didn't see it happening. Davis oh, is one. The fight. Davis is one. Whoa. Despite oh. Nunez having a fantastic background in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, people used the defeat to imply Amanda was weak on the ground and wasn't ready for the UFC. Amanda Nunez may only be 25 years old, but she's been involved in combat sports nearly all her life. Nunez ignored the criticism and would make the jump from strike force to the UFC. First round finishes for Nunez, three knockouts in under 30 seconds. She told me before this fight that she's made decisions. She does not want to focus on family or anything else. She's quit her daytime career. All she wants to do is be a champion in mixed martial arts here in the UFC. just over two minutes. This fight took place in 2014. Oh. And it would be her final loss to date. Her ground and pound has been outstanding. Absolutely. That's what we're saying is she was walking in, Joe. She really likes to beat people up on the ground. Nunez spent the majority of the fight on her back. We saw how difficult it was for Amanda Nunez to get off her back in the second round. Undeterred by the defeat, Nunez vowed to take her training to the next level. She moved to Florida and joined the renowned American Top Team. Keep going. A move she credits for taking her skills to the next level. would kick off her historic run of dominance through women's MMA. Overhand right lands for Nunes. Showing off her fluid striking game early. Nunes is a beast. Becoming the first woman to end a fight with leg kicks. have to be able to take out the elite grapplers like Sarah McMahon. So, really the perfect challenge at the perfect time for Amanda Nunes. Uh, Sarah ready? McMahon Get and up. Amanda Nunes. The Lioness displayed the striking ability that has made her a legend. Boom, perfect timing. Look at those shots. McMahon is hurt. Big right hand from Nunes. The Brazilian looks for another first round stoppage win. Doesn't have, have it under the chin. Oh, there's the tie. Oh, there it is. Amanda Nunes has done it. A huge 
win for the Brazilian tonight in Nashville, man. This is why I say she might be that next one to give some props to Ronda Rousey. Look at the build on Amanda. She's so wide and long. And that's one of the more unusual things about, like, like the way she can attack from so far out with punches. Up next, Valentina Shevchenko. Valentina was a warrior who tested Nunez's will. And Shevchenko is not liking it. She's eating some hard hammer fist. The fight would go the distance, and the two would meet again down the road. the winner by unanimous decision Amanda the Lioness finally Nunez would get her shot at a title aiming to be the first woman from Brazil to capture the bantamweight UFC title Hard as Amanda Nunes hit. It's nuts. I remember being surprised. I remember like kind of like, come here, you know, like mm -hmm. I dare you. And then she hit. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have those. She got tagged. Yeah, she got hurt bad. Four punishment. The lioness pounced. Each of teams busted up, destroyed. I mean, she's exciting as. She's got the choke. She's got the choke. Hit it. It's all over. Amanda Nunes what? is the first female Brazilian UFC champion. Who's the first openly gay women's champion in the history of the sport? Nunes. A new beast now reigned. Next up. The lioness would be pitted against MMA icon, Ronda Rousey. Introducing the challenger, the former UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Ronda Rousey! Well, I was upset when um, she was fighting Ronda that all the promos were about Ronda coming back. I mean, look, that's what they were hoping. They were hoping that Ronda wins because she's this gigantic superstar. She's back. 207. It's like, f man, what about Amanda? The media lead up to the fight was entirely centered around Ronda. Her comeback, her brave return, all the usual schlock. You know, there's not really any animosity, there's just a ton of intensity. Ronda Rousey, Amanda Nunes, title on the line. The challenger, Ronda, Ronda. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm too. Ronda Rousey was the biggest star in the history of women's MMA, an icon, a celebrity. You know what she's like? She's like a bowling ball in the end of a rope. Yep. Boom! Boom. Boom! You can see the look on people's face when she hits him. Nunez, his hands are down. She's walking Ronda down. She tagged her again. Oh. And instead she gets murked in 48 seconds. Big trouble. Can she finish it right here, right now? You're getting knocked out by Amanda Nunez in just 48 seconds in the first round. Christmas tree.
All of T-Mobile Arena was stunned. A lot of people thought that Ronda was going to win. A lot of people were walking out of the arena crying. At 48 seconds of the very first round. Now that's an icon that just got dismantled. TKO! And still! The undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World! championship it takes her less than a minute she dominated tonight she is the champion of champions she proved herself tonight the win cemented her stranglehold atop the bantamweight division prevailing wisdom is she will need the performance of a career to dethrone the incumbent amanda nunez nunez devastated raquel pennington with a series of knees in the fourth round In between the fourth and fifth rounds, she goes to her corner and the whole thing was caught on camera, including the audio, and she says, I am done. I know it hurts. Let's power through this. Corners are well, this okay. is something that people are going to be talking about next week, one way or the other. Despite wanting to quit. She told her corner she was done. Yep, yeah, I want to be done. Those were her exact words. I'm done. Pennington's corner sent her back out. Amanda Nunes is the real deal. Good luck to any bantamweight in the world trying wow. to take that belt right now. Go ahead, Amanda Nunes gets the finish. Nunes defends in real. Amanda Nunes has three times successfully defended her UFC Women's Bantamweight title. The first true super fight in women's MMA history was made. Chris Cyborg entered the fight on a 21 fight win streak. You know, I said it for a long time now and leading up to this fight, this is the fight that had to happen. This fight had to happen. It was the fight to make. Amanda Nunez would move up and wait to battle with legendary warrior Chris Cyborg for the featherweight championship. This is the type of fight that builds legacies. And you have to find out who, who is the best in the world. Defending undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Chris Cyborg. The intensity in this arena is palpable. The two undisputed best women fighters on the planet. Amanda Nunes has deceptively long punches. She catches you at the very end of them, and she's got serious power. Here we go, folks. Whoa! They're getting after it. both the featherweight and bantamweight champion. The first female champ champ. Turn to have knocked out Ronda Rousey in the first round and Chris Cyborg in the first round. Two of the biggest names in the history of the sport. She's incredible. Woo! Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. She's the best ever. How, how can you deny it? You can't deny that she's the best ever. That's what this fight was for. 
You know, this fight was to find out. But if you look at her resume and who she's beat, she's the best ever. But unlike any other champ champ, Nunez actually defended both of her belts. A feat neither Cormier nor Connor ever tried. All here for Preacher's Hall made her name by ending the reign of Ronda Rousey with a face kick. The UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship is on the line. The Lioness is in the midst of a five-year winning streak. Weapon, which is explosion. No one hits harder in this division than her. No. Nobody ever. She had now defended both of her titles. A feat that makes her perhaps the one true champ champ. There is no doubt you are the greatest female fighter of all time. Enjoy that. She has seared her name into history as the greatest female fighter ever. Oh, nice no, the mouthpiece out. Oh, the kicks are starting to hurt now. Uh oh. Uh Amanda Nunez, the lioness. Nobody brings it home like Joe. It's nobody. Make it so.